I'm going to perform my hand hygiene. Hi, I'm Allie. I'm going to be your student nurse today. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Charlie Knight, 8839. And can you tell me um, about your allergies? Latex, penicillin, and betadine. Okay, great. Well, I have an order here for um, an indolent catheter. If it has urinary retention, so I'm going to go ahead and set that up. But first, I need to um, assess some of your period area. I'm going to go ahead and put some gloves on. Okay, so the peri area has been clean and I have identified the urinary medius and the urethra opening. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off and I'm going to go ahead and set up my sterile field and it's really important to make sure the patient doesn't move around too much to contaminate it. Okay, so here's my hand hygiene. Okay, so here is my catheter kit. Um, in real life, this won't be open. Um, so my package is intact. I'm checking the expiration date, that it's in date, and um, none of the contents in this uh, our patient is allergic to. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And place our kit on a clean surface. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the bag for my discard bag. Now we're going to set this right here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and open my sterile kit. So I'm going to open the first flap away from me. I'm going to open the left flap, the right flap, and then lastly the one towards me, making sure to stay within my one inch border. Okay, so now that I've done that, I can go ahead and set up the sterile drape. So I'm going to go ahead and find my corner. And we are going to be placing the shiny side down. So we're going to be very careful to not touch our patient's legs. Okay, I'm now I'm going to go ahead and don my sterile gloves. I can fix this because sterile can touch sterile. Okay, prayer position. Okay, now I'm ready to um, set up the fenestrated drape. Sterile can touch sterile. Again, being careful not to touch the patient's legs. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up my kit. I'm going to move this. And I don't have any chlorhexidine in here. So we're going to pause this and go get some. If it will. It's, okay. it's still recording. Well, my nursing assistant personnel was able to get me some extra chlorhexidone. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Pour that on there. And. You're awesome, Miss Hoyt. I'm going to go ahead and open my loop. I'm going 
to attach the syringe to the catheter. I'm then going to be very careful to remove plastic on the catheter so I have full control. I'm going to go ahead and remove my catheter. Put my kit back together and move over to the sterile field on the bed. Okay, so this is where our patient needs to be very careful not to move around too much. I'm going to go ahead and clean the area. This is going to be my dirty hand, or my clean hand, I should say. And I'm still sterile, so I can go ahead and move this. Now my hand's locked, I'm going to go ahead and clean. I'm going to go start from the outer. Outer. Outer inner. Closer inner. Middle. And down the middle again. Being careful to go from front to back. I'm gonna drop that. Okay, so now we are ready to place the catheter. I'm gonna go ahead and grab and hold it two to four inches so I have full control. And um, as I'm inserting, I'm gonna be careful not to touch um, the external area. So I'm gonna go ahead and start inserting the catheter. Not touching any of the outside area. And I've just hit urine, so I'm going to go ahead and advance one more inch. I'm going to use my clean hand to stabilize. I'm going to push my saline to inflate the balloon. I'm going to hold on to this and go ahead and tug to make sure it's secure. It's secure. Go ahead and remove this. And then I would attach this to our patient's leg, making sure there's enough slack so in case it moves, it's not painful. And then we're going to go ahead and place the bag on the side of the bed that is not the side rail. We want to put it on a part of the bed that doesn't move. And I would document the procedure, document how um, the patient handled the procedure. Um, and then from there on out, I'd assess intake and output. And we have a happy patient.